On In Radio, on YouTube, Pocket Casts, and wherever you get your podcasts, I'm James Cridland, the Radio Futurologist. One of the talks I do is all about making the most of your content. I've done it in a number of different ways now to individual radio teams, including to an audience in Malaysia of over 100 people. The basic point I make again and again is that even your most fanatical listeners don't listen to everything you broadcast. And your most fanatical listeners are already your fans. Your job is to find more fans, and they most certainly won't hear everything you broadcast. One of the most obvious ways to get the most out of your content is to use your great programming as press releases. And I'm amazed at how few stations do this. If you've got a big name on your radio station, you can make the most of it by press releasing before and after. Westwood One is the exclusive national radio partner of the NFL. I'm aware of this because they sent me a mail four days before the Super Bowl highlighting their upcoming coverage. More than 28 million Americans tune into it. 650 radio stations take the broadcast and it makes it to satellite radio tune-in. And American forces radio overseas too. And for full disclosure, Westwood One paid me once for some consulting work. Westwood One also sent me a mail two days before the Super Bowl, and in this press release I was told that the host Jim Gray would be interviewing President Trump. The morning of the Super Bowl, Westwood One mailed me photos from an NFL party they'd held the previous night with half of big and rich, not the big half. A nice piece of industry news, but serving to remind me of their coverage. Then I got a mail containing details of the first half of the Trump interview, the bit broadcast before the game got underway. I got a transcript of the contents so I could take that and use that as a press story, along with a cleared photograph of Trump so I didn't have to go and steal one. Then I got another mail with the full audio of the Trump interview, including the part they broadcast at halftime, and yes, another transcript, including the insightful, I think today's game is terrific, and I think it's going to be terrific. And then another after the game, this time with photographs of people who, I guess, won, being interviewed by Westwood One personalities. I got one with Westwood One's Tony Bozzelli interviewing somebody called Nate Solder, who's wearing a very nice hat, who may or may not be part of a team that won something with the ball. So, photographs, pictures, audio, a transcript, and at least three different angles to help me cover the Super Bowl coverage, which, if you hadn't forgotten, was with Westwood One. Some other networks or stations might have made one release out of this, but most, whenever they have a big name in, tend to do nothing about it at all. Making the most of your content means making the most of it in any way you possibly can, including social media, including repeats of it in other day parts, but most of all in other media outlets. We're all looking for news stories, and if you use some great content, perhaps you're the news story we're looking for. Music for this episode is by Lee Rosevear. You can get my weekly newsletter at my website, james.crid.land. And until next time, keep listening. <laughs>